If you want to learn more about the Nikon 18-200 to zoom lens and come along for an awesome photo adventure, then stay tuned. This video is for you. I got up this morning and I decided to get out and relax and have some fun. So you might be saying, where are you at? Well, I'm in the great state of Kentucky, and I'm in a place called Red River Gorge. Now, I was down here not too long ago, but there's a lot to see and do down here, so I'm doing something a little different. Now, I'm hiking a trail called Indian Staircase. Now, I don't think this is really an official type trail, but if you look hard enough, you can find it, and there's some beautiful scenery out here. So, I grabbed the trusty Nikon 18-200 to zoom lens, and I paired it with the trusty D3400 body. Now I'm gonna take all of these shots with this lens right here and really put it through the paces. I really like this lens. It has an aperture of 3.5 to 5.6 and that really just depends on your zoom and where you're at. Now, this lens right here I've had for years and it's trusty, it's a little meaty, a little heavy and I just haven't used it in a long time. So I'm looking forward to getting out here and having some fun with it and I invite you to come along with me. Now I'm going to take all of these shots in RAW, and that means I'm going to have to do a little bit of post-processing to get those into JPEG so I can get them into the video. I'm going to use Lightroom for that. Most likely I'm probably going to stay in Aperture Priority, but like I do with the other videos, I'm going to put all that juicy metadata into the upper left-hand corner. That way you'll know the settings of the camera to capture those particular shots. Now, I do have all my gear with me, so I plan to do some backcountry camping tonight. And I've got some food with me as well. And it looks like we got relatively clear skies. I mean, we got some clouds out here, but it's not a big deal. The sun's going to be going down before too long. So I'm going to hike around, take a bunch of shots, maybe take a few shots tonight as well. We'll see what that looks like. And then I'm going to get up in the early morning and do more of that. And when it's all said and done, I'm going to give you a few final thoughts on this lens right here. So with all that said, Let's just jump right in. I want to have some fun. And before we do this, I want you to understand if you do anything like this, be careful, be prepared. That's really what it's all about. Just don't go out by yourself if you're not quite sure what you're doing. Let's jump in and have some fun. It was a long night, but I managed to get just a little bit of sleep in there. It's early in the morning and the sun is coming up. So I'm bouldering my way to a rock face that I plan to take some shots of fog in the valley uh, because there is fog in the valley. So I think it's gonna make for some awesome shots. And uh, let's just go see what we can get. Go to sleep, stay awake, and 
between so hollow She told me that's the music You can choose to let it go and everything will follow As she opened up the door It's late in the morning and it's time for me to head back home. Now I really enjoyed shooting with this Nikon 18-200 to lens. Now this lens I've had for years and it's just been sitting on my shelf. Now why? Well that's really because I've been using that kit lens, the 18-55 to and that 70-300. to Now I've done so because I wanted to show everyone that you can really take some great awesome shots with a kit lens. But when I saw this sitting on the shelf collecting dust I thought Let's dust this thing off and take it out and have a good time with it. This reacquainted my love with this lens. Why? Because I never felt the need to switch out that lens. I didn't need to. This thing, again, goes all the way to 200. Now, I reviewed the Nikon 18 to 300 lens, I believe it is. And I'm going to post that link in the description below if you haven't seen it. But that lens is quite a bit lighter. Now, it might have something to do with the manufacturing process, perhaps, or the optics. I'm not 100% sure. But a heavier lens isn't necessarily a bad thing because I feel that when you're zoomed all the way out, it helps to steady the shot. Now, again, had a lot of fun shooting with this lens right here, and I do want to mention something. Whenever you come out into an environment like this, what's really, really important is be safe and let people know where you're at. Now, I traversed a lot of trails and bouldered some rock faces this weekend, and again, it was a lot of fun. But I can tell you, some of those rock faces, it's dangerous. And I saw some people slipping, and I'm thinking to myself, if you're not 100% sure, then back up. It's better to be safe than sorry. Be sure you have all your equipment strapped down and locked in and ready to go. That's really what it's all about. Now, I'm on Instagram, and if you'd like to follow me over there, I'm going to post a link in the description below. So go ahead and do so. We'll exchange some pictures and have, have some good times over there. Now, if this video has helped you out and you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. It's called Real World. More often than not, I post videos about photography and technology, but you never know. So until the next video, take care of yourself and be safe.